everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're looking into some news that was broken late last night harry and megan have decided not to produce any content that goes over the whole mexit debacle their time in the royal family calling out the royal family anymore and they're going to take a kind of back seat with their content now we did predict that there were some backwards and forth between Harry and Meghan at what they wanted to produce. In the Meg Flix reading I've just done, I think a few days ago, I picked up that Harry was definitely not wanting to be front and centre and was very against doing any kind of reality things or anything like that anymore. However, Meghan was a little bit more open to it. I feel we're going to have a look and see what the cards have to say about it. Um, we'll just have to have a look and see. I mean, I still think they're going to do stuff. Eventually, this is just a thing. Or is this just a, is this just a, is this just a story to throw us off? Let's have a look. So let's have a look at the overview situation. Then we'll look at Megan. Then we'll look at Harry. So we'll start off with overview of the situation is there any truth in this story I'm using the grand lux tarot any truth in this story three okay so they are still working on stuff they are still working with other people regarding their content i do feel like we are still going to get things from them so interesting how we start with the three of pentacles and how they're getting on with people. So I'm wondering if this is their new, their new agency. We've got the seven, sorry, the eight of coins there. I'm crossing over them, that is in reverse. So really we're looking at some, well, There was frustrations. Things haven't worked out how they've wanted them to. That's for sure. They're not perceptive at how much they're not perceptive of how much they can, they need to change or work to get to what they want to do. We have the Ace of Coins there. Now this is not this tactic as quiet as it, we may find it, isn't going to bring them the revenue to keep them in the style they are accustomed. The Seven of Swords underneath it, though, says to me that this is some sneaky trickery behaviour, some sleight of hand. I don't completely believe the story at all. We have got the Eight of Coins crossing over, Eight of Coins in reverse. It seems to me that it's something for guards taking inventory, being able to balance the books. Money is a problem. And then we have the Nine of Swords leaving the situation in reverse. They've been arguing, man, about this. They have been arguing so much about... Um, They have been arguing so much about money. I'm really getting that. In the last few readings I've done, I really am picking up this kind of vibe where they have had big arguments about money, about finances coming in. This isn't going to pay the bills. I still think there is arguments and tension there. We are going to see a lot of Harry coming up. And I feel like this isn't going to be too grand because we've got the emperor in reverse in the future. There's definite difficulties there with regards to his father. Now, what they want, they want their glory. They want everything back. They want that six of ones energy. They want to be looked up to and revered and they want everything now. So this is a quick way. I feel like this, this isn't necessarily, I feel there's two things going on. I feel the test in the water to see how they will be received. If they say, we're going to do no more bombshells, there's nothing left to say, da 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 da. Um, and it kind of validates what they've said in a way. And I also feel like they, in their minds anyway. Um, and I also feel like it's just really, it's just a smokescreen. 
because we have this card coming up here and this is harry and harry's going to court in the uk he's doing giving evidence in not one but two trials and then you've got his visa application going on so i'm thinking this is really this is really to smooth the waters saying we won't throw people under the bus look we're good honest wholesome people la 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 la, la. look at how nice we are and unproblematic hmm the hanged man surrounding in reverse there they don't learn they do not learn there's no self-sacrifice there they want all the glory and vote very quickly now let's have a look and see what megsy says about this this story how 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 much is she in with it does she want to not do any There's that Eight of Pentacles again. Look, she wants to do the least work possible. She wants to do the least work possible on camera. Um, or ma not maybe on camera, but what's the easiest thing? The path of least resistance. Ace of Swords. Three of Cups there. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords there as well. So, okay. Ten of Cups. I'm just going to pull these cards out. So we have the three of cups in reverse there. And she's, this is creating gossip. This is creating chatter. And we have the five of swords underneath. She's finding it very difficult to get position how she wants everything to be just positioned. Um, the learning in reverse, the eight of the eight of pentacles in reverse she doesn't necessarily good at taking stock of everything that they've got and the ace of swords crossing over this is something to do with contracts and legality they're coming out and saying this because of contracts and legality and she wants to maneuver something which is interesting the chariot in reverse there with harry coming up for the future regarding this i really feel this is stuff to do about the court cases in the UK. I wouldn't be surprised if she's wanting to start some kind of court case herself. Temperance and the start in reverse. This is with regards to them not being in any content or selling any new books. This is fiction. This is just an elaborate thing we've got the star this is a load of this is just she's not happy about it i feel like she's having to hold off this is like a strategy with something the star in reverse she's not happy with the way things are handling and how the monarchy's going that's surrounding her I wonder if she blames everything, the popularity of the coronation and stuff for how everything's. Hmm. She doesn't like that veneer. There's something legal coming, guys. She's wanting to do something legal, something with contracts. And the chariot in reverse, loss of control. And there's Harry off in the court cases.
they are not happy at the minute. The Ten of Cups leaving the situation. Let's see how Harry's getting on. Actually, I'm going to use the cards I've been using a lot for Harry lately, which is the um, Mushroom Deck. There's Temperance, the Three of Wands. Okay, so there's three people working on this. There's three parties because we've got the Three of Wands. There's the Hangman in reverse as well. And the Two of Swords. There is definitely something legal going on. The Lovers in reverse. The Nine of Swords. Let me just pull the rest of the cards out. The Sun. King of Pentacles, that would be Harry. Two of Cups in reverse and Judgment in reverse. The Nine of Swords. He's going to make some big, stupid mistakes next week. I don't know what it is, but he's going to do something in the next coming weeks anyway. There is a death. He is worried. I think there is threats of splitting. The two of swords in reverse underneath this, that something's already been forced something's already happened guys we've got temperance there above and that's all about like being reflective seeing things as you want them to. so he i feel like he is getting his way about putting this statement out for some reason there's this frustration he doesn't understand the press this is it's really weird because it's like megan's got her own agenda and harry thinks both of their agendas are the same agenda but megan's got she's use, he's a useful idiot and then she also kind of has her own agenda here they've been almost like living separate lives in the last week or so The hanged man in reverse, he really is thinking he's very learned. He's very, this re releasing this statement, he doesn't realize that by announcing it, I am not going to make any more think claims about my family and blah, 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 blah. By saying this statement, he's playing into the press as much as anything else and the three of wands crossing over so i think there's people working overseas with harry the temperance card there he thinks he's being clever again he thinks he's very articulate and bringing things together but something's been forced in his hand the nine of swords now the Nine of Swords coming in, I feel like he is going to feel triggered next week. He is going to cause a lot of people a lot of stress. And I feel like he's going to cause himself some stress as well. But when a Nine of Swords is in reverse for me, this means that there is... Um, He's going to say something like he's had a weight taken off his mind when he's coming to say these things. But it's actually going to cause him some un more unease and it's going to cause other people unease as well. They're very contradictory. They're very contradictory people. Um, the sun in reverse there, what's he going to think about and what's surrounding it? He is going to mention the children. He's going to talk about the children a lot. And then we have got the king of pentacles surrounding. What's Harry's biggest concern and what he is most concerned about at the minute is him. And then one of the worries he does have 
is the two of cups in reverse. So this is Splitsville. He's worried about Splitsville. It comes up twice. It's sandwiched around him. I guess it's getting threatened a lot. And maybe the reason, maybe just the reason he's worried about him is he's worried about how his behavior will impact Megan. The judgment card there in reverse. He's not going to like the way things are moved. His boundaries are going to get moved with this, what's going on. They try to play these big brained, big energy games. But it's not, it's, it's just not it. I wonder what they're going to, he's, they're going to blame the emperor for something and the magician in reverse there. They're going to blame King Charles for something. Uh, I just want to come back to this card here, the Four of Swords. Because I think this is actually fundamental to this reading. There's stuff about inheritance here and things being handed down. Now, this might be from Queen Elizabeth's will we know that she was all going monarch to monarch lady colin campbell mentioned yesterday that was all gone monarch to monarch um i'm really feeling that this is regarding maybe prince prince philip's inheritance that he let might have left them i feel like inheritance is a problem for them i feel like they didn't realize that they wouldn't get anything. I feel like even with Queen Elizabeth, I don't think Harry knows how it worked. He just automatically thought he was the favorite so he would get something. So I really feel like there's this kind of like, there's this kind of difficulty. There's this kind of, um, they've realized playing nasty and playing playing mean hasn't gotten them anywhere so they think if they try to kind of just take a break off in a way that the media might like them that the law courts might like them that the public might like them but also the bank of dad will open again but the emperor is in reverse in the future this is all about money guys they are they are broke not broke like me and you could be broke not broke like not you know what I mean? It's a week before page A and you've got 20 quid in your bank account. Not that, not that broke. In fact, that it, they are actually, they've got a lot of money. They can't afford the lifestyle that they want, basically. And this security is costing them now. I really do think that Uncle Elton is paying a lot for security. I think there's a lot with Uncle Elton going out there. He's paying for a lot of money. This is, They are very convoluted because there's like lots of things that are true. So they haven't got a lot of money, but they should have a lot of money. He's a prince. They live in a mansion, so it's weird. They want the attention, but they don't want the attention. Megan wants to be in front of front line and everything she wants the attention however harry doesn't want necessarily want that level of attention he wants to live like george clooney but he doesn't want to get his face on the camera too much he doesn't want that too much um so this is very convoluted there's definitely something with inheritance though definitely something with inheritance and that's causing they thought they were going to get more money than their or any money and they've got none off queen elizabeph and i don't know what's happened with prince phillips but it yeah
interesting to see what will happen next week. They're going to further make a mess of stuff, especially with judgment in reverse and boundaries getting pushed. And he may not like a judgment that's made around him. So that's very interesting. We have the magician in reverse and the emperor in reverse. And to be honest with you, I feel like they're slippery customers. I feel like for, in my opinion, as a reader, the energy I get, they move things around so much that they are creating a, they're basically trying to gaslight everyone, throw people off scents, do different things. So things can seem very convoluted. I mean, look at the lead up to Megxit. There's lots of backwards and forwards there. So yeah, you've got to kind of like keep on top of them in a sense that some of this stuff is just not true. Like they're putting out that they don't want to be in front and center of any more docu-series or anything like that. Now, what I don't think is true about this story, I think Harry believes the story that he doesn't want to do anything like that, but Megan doesn't. And um, she's grudgingly went along with it because it satisfies some aims she's got with regards to court cases and regards to other stuff. Court cases, what else? Money, family. Mm. I think one of the things is is that definite is like if they were very different people. Like when they're together, what I'm trying to say is when they're together, or when Harry's in on the scheme, they are very similar. But Megan chops and changes and goes against, like, will play Harry, if you know what I mean. So, like, allegedly, my conspiracy, she is the one who feeds the press, like, stuff, like negative stories about the Waleses or says negative things, leaks stuff in the press about them moving to South Africa. And, you know, so there'll be like stuff, stuff in from Megan. Um, but she'll pl play innocent. How did they find that out? It must be these other people with Harry, and Harry just doesn't realize she's done that yet, or ever, or ever will. But they'll both scheme together, which is crazy. But I feel like this is a scheme. And Harry thinks he's won by saying we are not going to produce any content and be like the front and centre of it. And Megan's just like, actually, <laughs> lol, <laughs> I am. So, yeah, I picked that up. But let me know what you guys think. It's very messy. It always is with these two. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. and. Um, I shall see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye.